Hey everybody, this is Ryder, and we are back to Lego Harry Potter 5 through 7. We're trying a ratio of 4 by 3 on the aspect ratio to see if maybe that would stop the hmm. stuttering. Uh, so, what, what I'm trying to do here is see if that triggers something. Now, there's really no ratio below 4 by 3. That's... That's what it's been for a very long time, if, if not forever. Interesting, where am I supposed to go? The ghost abandoned me, so I wasn't certain. Oh, I'm supposed to go over here into the secret room again, I believe. And we're not seeing a full lockup stuttering occurrence so far. We're instead seeing some kind of micro stutters. Which I would prefer the micro stutters over having to actually stop playing. Hmm. As for the story, it seems like Sirius Black's cousin or whoever she is, family member of some sort, yeah. is crazy, uh, oh. has uh, been mm. broken out of Azkaban prison. <sighs> Use the Expecto Petronium and press X. What am I doing? I'm breaking things. I think that's what I'm doing. Cast the one with the mentor thing. Anyways, um, I think that's it. There we go. And see, it's gonna switch to different characters and make them do it over and over again with different dummies. Where, where are the other dummies? What's interesting is this room has windows, although it seems like it would be in the middle of the building. But it is a magical building, so whatever. There we go. So each one of these characters has to find one of these and then take them out. Nope, see, it doesn't have anything to do with anything, so let's go back to the video settings and change it back to 16 by 9. I mean, look, it's locking up even here. So I, I can't abide 16 by 9. I'd, I'd much rather that be. Alright, let's see. This is just so unacceptable for the game this buggy. I'm kind of just hoping I can race to the end and we haven't even finished the first movie. And it's really cool to, to not finish it, but it's also kind of cool to me to have to sit here and play a, a game that's just this bad. Of course, I'd have to figure out what I was going to put in the time slot otherwise. And LEGO games are pretty consistent. Alright, so she took one out. We only have her left.
Ah, uh, so this is moving the ball around. That's the trick there. What's going on? And she has this little pink pet that I bet never actually appeared in the books or anything. And Lego's just making all that up. But that's cool. Out the Dementors. So now they all know the Patronus charm. And they get another gold brick. When I watched this movie, because I did see parts of this movie at least, uh, it was very dark and mean, and this teacher was, is unequivocally abusive to the students, and cruel, and there's doesn't even seem like there's a reason. I don't even think she... Uh, I don't even think she works for Voldemort or anything. I just think she's a, a total control freak and a lunatic. And I mean, it seems like an anal analogy against letting the wrong person become in charge, I suppose, but it, it's, it was quite disturbing. Really? And the Harry Potter series in general kind of has this really bad attitude against a lot of adults and a lot of non-magical people too. It, it really puts Harry in this position where he's like better than everybody else in the story and he knows that it's, it's, it, it doesn't preach that the, like teamwork really even though Hermione and Ron uh, do teamwork then you have a lot of other even kids that he sets himself against and is uh, always upset with it's just kind of not inclusive I suppose hey. with people huh? It, huh? Sets to divide people <coughs> apart. Hmm. <coughs> oh. <laughs> and it the books just get darker and darker. It seems. Well, the movies did. I think also there was a mistake there, certainly in that they had different different people write and direct different movies. If there had been a clear story told to one director for the entire Harry Potter movie series, I think that would have been appreciated and made it a little bit better. But I think at the core of it, it is probably more an issue of, of uh, J.K. Rowling trying to write for an older audience and kind of not finishing the story she started or the story I thought she started I guess it might be more accurate maybe she knew it was going to go dark from the beginning and and uh, I just wasn't made aware of that fast enough. 
And we move on to the next section. See, that level there looked like there was a ton more stuff to do, but it just skipped to a cutscene. Interesting. Here we have this giant troll with a weird head, which looks nothing like the trolls in uh, Lego Lord of the Rings. His head's not even attached to it. <laughs> So apparently we got to find some instruments. Again, this this is one of the worst stories to for the old style of Lego games. So yeah, this was where we were a second ago when we went to a cutscene to bring more about the This game desperately needs the dialogue. So, the fact that they're making a remaster of these two games, it was 1 to 5 and uh, 1 to 4 and 5 to 7, seems really silly when they should just be redoing it from scratch, throwing out 90% of the work and bringing in the voice acting, telling a different tale. They kind of are doing throwing it out from scratch and starting it over because there are in Lego Dimensions uh, Harry Potter sections that are smaller and shorter. But Lego Dimensions is not on PC. It seems like we always get the um, get the short end of the stick as far as PC and Lego games, and that's not fair. So she tells him to put her down, I suppose. And we're, it looks like we're getting spells sometimes when we aren't. Like we befriended this guy and it made it seem like we got a spell for doing that. <laughs> so that was another save. Can we ever get over to this section? Where the Quidditch matches are? I'm not sure. That may be permanently closed off. We haven't seen any indication that Quidditch is going to be played at all in the story. It may show up, but it may very well not. I think right now as the story is going, a lot of the students were even afraid to come back to Hogwarts, so it's it's a relatively empty school. Uh, which way is it going? Hmm. Huh? I still want to do a level. But if it takes too long to actually reach a level, then what can I do? Right. 
apparently this is not what we need to do. Oh, yes it is what we need to do. Hmm. And so he's doing another focus thing where he's trying to see into Harry's memories. And so then he decides to see into Sirius Black's memories. Uh, now this isn't Sirius Black. Uh, who is this guy? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you see him as... Oh yeah, isn't this the Half-Blood Prince story? Yeah. I think it is. What just happened there? Apparently nothing but a glitch. And so, like, this guy was in love with Harry's mother, I think, and good friends with Harry's father, I think, maybe. And there's walkers here. Seems like there was a lot less people going to Hogwarts during this time. Which wouldn't be super surprising. I wouldn't be surprised if Hogwarts was a new school that has only been running for like 10 or so years. 10, 20 years. Even though it does kind of seem more like it's actually the most prestigious schools ever. Also, it's kind of odd because I think Harry Potter takes place way in the past more than you would think. And then that doesn't quite make sense when you see the like level of cars and technology. But... Uh, I think it actually did. And they, the movies just moved it up. Oh, so much lag. So much lag. Uh, because Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, I think is supposed to be 40 years after the events of Harry Potter. Yeah, unless I heard wrong. And it's still set in the 1920s. Which means that puts Harry Potter in the 1880s. Like, that's like nearly a hundred years behind. 1920s, it's 2016, yeah. That's nearly a hundred years behind, and yet the cars didn't look a hundred years old. The clothes didn't look a hundred years old. So we need somebody with a pet to dig. Everybody's laughing at the kid in the tree. I assume that's what they're doing. And what did I just make? Some shears huh? to cut the things on the tree. Cut the bull. Make them fall. Am I bullying them? I guess I am. So this turns into a wizard duel with four hearts. Interesting way that they depict the hearts, by the way. Uh, or just rotating in a bubble. We've never seen it done like that before. Usually it's a full, a full bar at the top. Or something. And every spell you have 
works in this duel. And they, they just work in a completely different way than they normally would. So he just tells him get out. <laughs> so we've learned focus now. Which is yet another new spell. And again, this puts us in a weird position because it's been about well, it's been 20 minutes almost exactly, and we haven't played a level. There's so many little instances here, but no actual level. So do I want to go in here and see a cutscene and go further? No, I don't. Um, and see the weirdness here too is I want to save and I don't even know if the game will save when I quit so we may end up replaying some section of the game just because there's no save option here and it doesn't say the game will be saved oh and we're playing the order of the phoenix right now i guess so that is not the half blood prince half blood prince must be the next one unless we've already done the half blood prince uh i've done let's see 6.7 percent of the game according to the collectibles how many have i really done though i wonder how many levels have i done i'm probably Maybe somewhat close, one or two levels from beating, uh, finishing the first year. And that would be year five. And then six and seven. And seven must be broken into twice as many levels because that's the only way that would make sense. Because there's three years there and 24 levels. Hmm. Yeah. And they were doing about six levels each time. And that's what they did with the movie, too. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me with YouTube. I would really like to get your feedback on games like this where it's buggy, when I, where I, I've kind of painted myself into a corner here. Because I want to finish the Harry Potter Lego series. I own the game. Uh, it would be nice if there was a remastered version that comes out when the collection comes out for PlayStation 4. But there's been no talk of that at all. So I, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Uh, it would have been nice if there was a patch that came out a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, I painted myself into the corner. Do I rage quit? and not finish the game or do I just go through the story mode and forget the collectibles or do I just power through it and do all 100% of the game with all the lagginess intact at low visual quality with everything turned off uh, I've certainly rage quit more games recently than I would have liked simply because of a multitude of reasons and I don't like doing that because I do really want to finish the story on all games but let me know your feedback if you think it's worth it if it's not worth it uh, I'd like that anyways I was wrapping up if you want to support me further you can click on my name right -o. on the right will be a blue button that says support this channel you can click that and make a donation and finally if you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.